Um, we are delighted to be here, seeing that um, we haven't been here for almost 30 years. Um, we're expecting some tough opposition. Um, we intend to play good football, um, attractive football, um, and hopefully come out of the group. And for you, Adrian, same thing as well, of course, you have, uh, have experience in, in Trinidad, of course, outside of, of the island as well. You know, your thoughts about this competition as well. Um, first and foremost, it's an honor to be here. Um, having been, not been here for, as Coach Wendell said, <laughs> some 30 years, you know. Um, I think the plan is to get two results, you know, moving forward. However it comes, we take it. But the plan is to get two results, so that way we on the front foot when we play our next two games at home. Coach, if you look at the group that you have in Group A, three Jamaican groups, the team from Haiti, and of course you represent in Trinidad and Tobago, your thoughts about the group and the composition, two matches at home, two matches away? Um, I look at it positive seeing that um, we are playing three Jamaican teams. Um, you tend to know what you would expect from Jamaicans. Um, they're very rugged, they, they, they're athletic, they're very physical. Um, mix with a little bit of skill. So we, um, it dies a plus for us seeing that um, it's three teams, so we know what to expect. Um, the Haitian team as well, Haiti always produce good footballers. Um, so we're expecting a tough game, we're expecting a tough group. And as um, my captain said, hopefully that we get two good results going back home and um, capitalizing and coming out of, of the group first or second. Adrian, you're, you're an international, you've represented your country and you know CONCACAF as well. Have you told your teammates about what it's like in the region and playing against different teams? You know, not only internationally, but club-wise as well. Yeah, of course, definitely. Um, I think it, it is safe to say that um, for both club and country, you know, with Haiti and Jamaica, both clubs and the country itself, um, similar styles of football, you know, physical, direct, um, yeah, aggressive football. So that's what we really expect. So we've been preparing for that and yeah. And coach, for you know, if you look in this group, your two away matches are at the same venue. Your thoughts as well regarding that. You're, you have a centralized place for your away games in this group. And of course, you know, your home games as well in Trinidad as well. Um, that's a um, that's a plus for us. Um, knowing knowing the surface that um we playing on. Um, after playing one time, we would know to expect in the second game. Um, similar um, home. We are custom playing football in, in the Atabolan Stadium. We know what the surface is like. We know what to expect. We know the bruises. Um, so it's just to go out on the day and, and execute um, what we do in training and and hopefully everything works out well. Adrian, as you're aware, not only on on the island of Trinidad. Trinidadian internationals playing in Jamaica as well. I just wanted your, if you had an opportunity to see how they have been doing in Jamaica as well or tracking them outside of the island and seeing how they've been progressing. Oh well. yeah, for sure. Um, seeing and speaking to Nathaniel James and, you know, um, the league in itself is, 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 is one that has been progressing over the years. You know, um, he fit in really well. You know, he's a very a very good player. So yeah, they are um, having conversations with him. You know, the league in itself is 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 one that is, is physical, is demanding. You know, so we just have to prepare to to, to match this these qualities. And coach, finally, tell us a little bit about the growth of this competition as well, from your playing to where it is today, and how it has expanded as well. Um, it is it it, it is. Tremendous from when I was a player back in 2002-2003 to now, you know, that is over 20 years and a lot of, of, of emphasis has been put into the league where they, 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 they're trying to make it as professional as a, a, and efficient as, as possible and that is only good, that is only good for the region, you know. Um, in CONCACAF, we're trying to see how best we could compete with the giants of Europe and the South Americans. So this is a real good opportunity for CONCACAF to showcase itself through this um, CFU. Um, and hopefully things will go well. All right, Coach Adrian, thank you very much. And all the best tomorrow. Thank you.